Now's a great opportunity for you to take a look at this disease as something you can live with, how it can actually make you healthier because you're going to have a different focus on diet and exercise now. To me, I really talk about how diabetes can really be the opportunity for you to get healthier. For me, being diagnosed with diabetes, it drew, it drew me more to what can I do? How can I have a healthier diet? Eat more fruits and vegetables. Drink more water. It helps me to remember my focus on exercise because exercise burns blood sugar. Get out, be active. If you've never had a, an exercise routine before, now's a great time to start. Go ahead and take the walk around the block go for a walk over your lunch hour. If you really want to join a gym and do that, do that. Find something you enjoy. The best thing you're going to do for yourself is to be active in something that you enjoy doing. If you're someone that only drinks soda, stop drinking soda, stop drinking juices, stop drinking sugar-sweetened drinks. Start drinking more water. The next thing I would encourage you to do is to schedule an appointment with one of the educators. We can help put this all in perspective. It's really hard when you're going on websites and you're looking around and you're getting information from your aunt or your uncle or your neighbor and everyone's telling you the bad stuff and the good stuff, what you can and can't do. Find a trained educator that's going to be able to put that together for you in your life. We can make this something you can live with. Many people diagnosed with diabetes ask, why should I test my blood sugar? To me, I don't think I really know how I feel unless I've tested. I look at testing as kind of your speedometer. You don't really know how fast or slow you're going unless you're actually looking down. You can be driving in traffic and believe that you're going the speed limit, but actually when you look down, you recognize that maybe you're 10, 15, even 20 miles an hour over. You felt fine because everyone else was driving that speed limit. The same can be said for your blood sugar. We get used to how we feel on a day-to-day -day basis. If we don't test our blood sugar, we may not even recognize that our numbers are higher or lower than they're supposed to be. Testing is a great way to keep yourself honest, as well as to give you the great information when you're succeeding at what you're doing, that your exercise and your diet are really paying off. For most people with diabetes, testing once a day is all you need to do. Find the best time of day for you. For us as providers, we like to see a variety of tests how you sit first thing in the morning, and how maybe your blood sugars are one to two hours after a meal. However, if you feel like you can't get that done, at least get once a day testing when it fits in your life. This is a disease you will have for the rest of your life, so we want this to be something you can feel successful in.